welcome back. Well, you know, some of the best things come in pairs, like peanut butter jelly, movies and popcorn, mornings and good day, Alabama. The list goes on and on. And leadership expert Pete Blank is here to tell us more about this partnership and how it works with leadership skills so that you can work better in tandem. Thanks for being with us today. Glad to be here. Glad to be. I was thinking about this yesterday because yesterday we were celebrating two events. We were celebrating Juneteenth and Father's Day. Yes. And I'm like, it's nice to have two things that go together. So then I started, remember the old, I don't know if you remember this or not, I, I, I gotta be careful with this question. <laughs> there was this old, Janice, I'll turn to you. You got your peanut butter in my chocolate, you got your chocolate in my <laughs> yes, peanut I butter. That. Oh, Reese's I don't remember that. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it was this old, two things are better than one yes. sometimes. And I thought, what else from a motivation or leadership skills go together? So I, I've got a couple things here where two skills go together, I think, that make it better than just one. All right, let's 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 start with them. Let's dive in. Well, the first one is your communication skills, mm -hmm. which is a lot of times either we're really really good at speaking and we like to talk a lot or we're really good at listening and we're the person in our church and our family people are like oh they're, they're the best listener sometimes you can be a really better motivator and better leader if you try to work both of those okay do you have a preference or are you more of a speaker or a listener do you think uh, well I, I do think I do both I have been told in my interviews that I listen well okay. but I do like to talk I like so. to talk so you've got both you've got both and that's that's good the next one I've got here is, is feedback and this happens a lot whether you're a parent uh, whether you're working in a in, in, in a business where um, a lot of times we tend to bring employees in or people in for the constructive mm -hmm. criticism. Hey, you need to work on this better. Hey, you need to be a better, hey, you need to mow the lawn. Hey, you need to do the dishes. Hey, you need to follow your chores. Hey, you need to do things. But we don't always do the positive recognition. Mm -hmm. We don't do the stuff where we say, hey, great job. Hey, nice job. And, and so I think a lot of times if you're going to lead people, you want to make sure that you're giving that constructive feedback, mm -hmm. but you're also giving that positive feedback. Where that do you sense. land on that? Well, I was just thinking about that because I, um, with my children, I am trying to make a focused effort on the positive because yep. I yell at them so oh, much. I'm so, that's what we do. I feel like Sorry, the worst kid. parent ever <laughs> when I have to yell at Libby because right. it, it, then that frustrates her. So I try to be right. very mindful when there is something positive. You've got to bring both of them in. It's got to be, it's got to be a package worst. deal. It's got to be a package. And then the, <laughs> the, the last one I've got here is, is kind of a, a leading others. It says on, the, on your screen, it says hands on and hands off. Okay. This is really more of a business strategy if you're working, mm -hmm. but sometimes you want to have your employees and go, listen, I want to lead you and and you do what you need. Here's the expectations. Mm -hmm. I'm hands off. But there's other times if you give employees too much hands off, mm -hmm. you're like, you're not doing what I wanted. So maybe you have to do a little more micromanagement. So you don't want to be a total micromanager right. and be in their business all the time. But you also don't want to be totally hands off and like, you just tell me when. So there's this, there's this blending. Kind of, of a the fine two. line. Well, right. How so are you? I got to throw the question back at you. Um, I try to do both of all of these all the time, <laughs> every day, like a good leader should. Yes, of course. Good answer there. <laughs> Absolutely. Good answer. All right, Pete Blake, thanks so much for being with us today. You're Some welcome. good information to hopefully motivate you on this Monday. That's right, the power of two. All right, well, coming up, let's check in with Janice.